All right, what's up guys? Welcome to a Sneakers Insight video. As you can see, I washed my merch and uh, yeah, it was hot water because I think they it, it, it has like rules and regulations on how to wash the uh, merch and yep, washed my name away. So it no longer says at T-Mozboss. I was going to wear this out. I, have even, I think I wore it out in public while I was wearing the jacket over it so people couldn't even see what it looks like. I still got the hat. I still got the hat. But anyways, welcome to another Sneakers Insight video. In today's video, I feel like that this is a probably going to probably be one of my dopest videos on this channel. But to review both of these shoes and to have like things to say about them and stuff. I mean, people have already done uh, this particular video before. Um, I'll just be giving my own like take on it. I honestly won't be saying anything different from everybody else. It will be the same thing, just overall, uh, my own version of it. So anyways, I will be reviewing the Lifestyle Quantum Yeezys or the Yeezy Quantum Lifestyle. I don't freaking know, bro. But anyways, and the basketball uh quantum yeezys freaking whatever you call them bro whatever you call them but anyways now can you overall uh wear because yeah these shoes look roughly the same size it's it's crazy because these feel a little bit smaller i think that's because it has more padding in it and then with these ones it's the lifestyle model so it's like really you could do just about anything in these shoes but i think the only reason so all right so I'll be, I'm just going to get fully deep in detail with these shoes. So anyways, um, for those that don't know, Kanye, uh, when releasing both of these shoes, he did come out with two different versions. And one version, I think, had got banned from the NBA because it's just way too reflective, which is this version. Um, yeah, if you uh, hold, if you take like a flash photo of this, you can even kind of see like right now you're seeing this part where it looks light, right? It looks like it's kind of dusty. But when me looking at it, it's it's dark. This is dark right now. So this is very reflective, not so much on the sides, but like I said, if you do take a flash photo of it, very, very, very reflective. And then with the basketball versions, the reflectiveness, it's still there, but it's just padded up and it's blocked. So you can't really see it as much, but it's still very reflective um, back here. So it's not as reflective. Like I have uh, these Jordans right here, the infrared, well, it's the sixes, but it's the reflective versions in this box right here. Those are without doubt the most reflective shoes that I've ever seen. If you want to look, see what those shoes look like, yeah, look up there. I'll probably end up doing like a, a video on them one of these days. But those have to be the most reflective shoes that I've ever had. Like, or have like them shoes. You can take a photo of it, and it looks like a legit like flashlight. Like I'm saying, like you can wear those shoes. You can wear those shoes and see somebody like probably a block, maybe a couple of blocks away. Like them shoes is bright. They're not like some dark colored shoes. So uh, with these, I don't really think that maybe if it's like a, a really extremely like car headlight was shining on the on these shoes, they will probably be noticeable. But other than that, like these shoes, I don't even know why the NBA will honestly trip about something like this. So that's why I'd like, I think these shoes are kind of like another like Yeezy 350s. They're more so like a lifestyle shoe, but you, if you want to play ball in them, like more so probably street ball, because these shoes, like the traction on it, like see how like like long it takes my hand to like slide down, and that's this is the basketball one, but on the lifestyle ones, let me, yeah, it's like roughly the same. So that's the thing with both of these shoes, they're the same. And I think when releasing these, I think the only thing that they did change was the uh, like padding in the inside. Because if you feel like there is some padding in here, and these shoes are comfortable. So don't think for a second, oh, because it has less padding, that it's um, not as comfortable. I honestly think the only reason why they had released these Yeezys was because of the rules and regulations that the NBA threw at them. But other than that, like to what? Release like another, like one more layer of padding. So this is like... It, the basketball version of the Yeezy Quantums is like 1.5. You know, it's it's not like a two. It ain't like a completely different shoe when wearing them. And you would think like uh, maybe they would have, I think just overall, like they the pattern is slightly different on the side. Because, I mean, it is this like hard rubber plastic on here. And then it's like the like mesh, uh, like mesh, like stitched material on here. But other than that, like, it's just really just to protect the reflectiveness. So there's not a whole major difference with these shoes. This is just, like, 
this is like Midnight Club Dub Edition. This is Midnight Club Dub Edition Remix. <laughs> like, if I can explain this in the better, in the most best way I could, that is it, okay? Dub Edition Remix, Midnight Club 3, all right? So just think of it like that. There's just, what, a couple more songs, couple more cars. That's it. That's all that you need to know. But other than that, everything else is pretty much the same comfort um and but i think it's just like what an extra layer of padding that's in here and then it's just uh with the lifestyle ones i think this was because if you look on the box for these ones it does say basketball so kanye i believe had already had made these they already went through production they already made the stickers and all of that stuff and they couldn't change it so yeah if um and then that's another thing uh let me show you guys the box or the boxes, because the boxes are actually uh, even different themselves. So, the uh, this is the basketball box, and then this is, hold on for a second, then this is the lifestyle box. So, as you guys can see, like, they're uh, slightly, well, it's like slightly uh, bigger. Hold on for a second, let me show y'all so yeah you guys can see like there is like a size difference with them and that's why i think like with those ones uh the basketball ones they that's why i said like they do feel a little bit tighter on feet rather than the lifestyle ones it just feels a little bit more loose so if you i that was one thing i'm like i'm kind of glad i didn't do was go down half a size because uh they even though they do feel loose like what if you probably put on like an extra layers of socks you wouldn't even feel it but um, other than that, like, I, I honestly do, um, I like them. I just like, I, I mean, there's just, there's so many things I really can't say about these shoes. I did do review videos on them. Oh, yeah, but it says Boost. It says Yeezy Basketball, Yeezy Quantum, nothing on this side. And then Yeezy Basketball made by Adidas. And then Yeezy Quantum made by Adidas. Adidas and then just says Basketball and, excuse me, Quantum. But like I said, like there's not really a big major difference with these shoes. It's honestly, you can wear any of these shoes on the court. You can wear any of these shoes out on um, just like in a lifestyle version of it. But yeah, there isn't, there is no real difference. So uh, yeah, um, if guys got any questions about these shoes, uh, feel free to comment below. Ask me anything that you want to ask me about any shoe. Actually, I don't really care, but yeah, um, I'll give you the best answer I possibly could. So in the meantime, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and peace.